Unit 10. Lesson 4. Language in use. Objective. Use modal verbs to talk about an event. Vocabulary. Behave. To be polite. To act in a way that doesn't cause problems. The teacher was happy that the children behaved well on the trip. Cafeteria. A restaurant in a school or hospital, etc., where you buy food and take it to the table yourself. I have lunch in the school cafeteria every day. Smart. Looking clean and tidy, dressed in nice clothes. My brother looked very smart in his new suit. Don't forget our class trip to the Museum of Mysteries next week. Great! What should we wear? You don't have to wear a uniform, but you must look smart, so you can't wear jeans. And it might be cold, so you should bring a jacket. Should we bring lunch? We'll have lunch in the cafeteria, but you should bring a snack. And you shouldn't bring valuable possessions, because you may lose them. Do we have to stay together at the museum? You can explore in small groups, but you must behave well. Can we take our phones? Yes, but you have to hand them in when you arrive. You mustn't use phones in the museum. Who can you see? Kit, Oliver and their teacher. Where are they? They are in the classroom. What do you think they are talking about? They are talking about a class trip. Where are they going on the trip? They are going to the Museum of Mysteries. Do they have to wear school uniform? No, they don't. Why shouldn't they bring valuable possessions? It is because they might lose them. Can they use their phones in the museum? No, they can't. Activity 1. Listen and say. Don't forget our class trip to the Museum of Mysteries next week. Great! What should we wear? You don't have to wear uniform, but you must look smart so you can't wear jeans. And it might be cold, so you should bring a jacket. Should we bring lunch? We'll have lunch in the cafeteria, but you should bring a snack. And you shouldn't bring valuable possessions because you may lose them. Do we have to stay together at the museum? You can explore in small groups, but you must behave well. Can we take our phones? Yes, but you have to hand them in when you arrive. You mustn't use phones in the museum. Activity 2. Complete the table with words in bold in Activity 1. The words in bold in Activity 1, like should, don't have to, must, can't, might, shouldn't, may, have to, can, and mustn't, are modal verbs. What are modal verbs? They are auxiliary verbs that provide additional and specific meaning to the main verb of the sentence. Let's learn the different functions of modal verbs. We can use should and shouldn't to give advice. For example, You should go home and get some rest. You shouldn't joke about that. We use must, mustn't and have to, to express a strong obligation. For example, I must get out of here. We mustn't panic. We have to stop him. Next, we use don't have to 
when there is no obligation. For example, You don't have to do that for me. You don't have to come. The modal verbs can and can't are used to ask or give permission. For example, Can I sit here with you? You can't do that. Lastly, we can use might and may to express possibility. For example, It might rain. Something bad may happen. Read the dialogue and decide which words belong to each category, then complete the table. 1. What should we wear? Advice. 2. You don't have to wear uniform. No obligation. 3. You must look smart. Obligation. 4. You can't wear jeans. Permission. 5. It might be cold. Possibility. 6. You shouldn't bring valuable possessions. Advice. 7. You may lose them. Possibility. 8. Do we have to stay together at the museum? Obligation. 9. You can explore in small groups. Permission. 10. Can we take our phones? Permission. 11. You mustn't use phones in the museum. Obligation. Complete the table. Activity 3. Imagine your school is having a sports day. Complete the sentences with the best modal verb in Activity 2. More than one answer may be possible. 1. You must arrive on time, this is very important. 2. It may or might rain, you should bring an extra sports kit. 3. You don't have to bring sandwiches. There will be food stalls there. 4. You shouldn't carry a lot of money. You may or might lose it. 5. You mustn't behave badly. Activity 4. Tell a partner about the sports day using the ideas in Activity 3 and your own ideas. Don't forget our sports day next week. You must arrive on time and you should bring an extra sports kit because it might rain. Okay. Should I bring some sandwiches to school? No, you don't have to bring sandwiches. There will be food stalls there. Great. I will bring some money to buy food. You shouldn't carry a lot of money because you may lose it. All right. Do we have to stay together at the field? Yes, we do. And we mustn't behave badly. Okay. <laughs>